Stage 40. We're on 40. Welcome to the D pad. I'm Rorty. I'm Bordy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that hey. worked out perfectly. <laughs> this is Tingled. I keep wanting to start, like. We're playing Balloon Fight. My brain is so stuck on freshly picked Tingles Rosy Rupee Land that every time I go to think of a game title, my brain thinks, remember, freshly picked is is part of the title. Like, I'll, I will literally yeah. sit there and my, my brain will go, freshly picked freshly picked Mega Man Battle Network <laughs> 6. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, freshly picked to Fre the time. <laughs> freshly picked Tingles Balloon Fight. Now, it's Tingles Balloon Fight DS. We are about halfway through this mode, actually. We're not we, quite uh, halfway through. Yeah, we're and 40. Rick's subjecting me to all 99 oh my God. levels. I figured this would be kind of a nice little, like, podcasty sort of yeah, week of just, fine. like, just, low... All I do is complain anymore, <laughs> and it's just my shtick. Although, oh. it really has been my shtick from the beginning. I'm gonna say, it's bullshit <laughs> was your catchphrase early on. You don't even use it anymore, to I, be really I honest. I don't. I try to be more positive and mostly fail, but... <laughs> I don't want to immediately jump to, like, this is bullshit. We did that a lot in like 2015. I know. We yeah. we were regular. everything was bullshit everything in 2015. Was. Little did I know that things would actually get way no. more bullshit in 2019. Boy, remember remember the good old days <laughs> of 2015? God, 2015 was a just a lovely time. <laughs> oh, Although, fuck me. We do have classic WoW now, so there everything's better. And uh, Tool came out with a new album, so yeah. we're really back to 2004. Yeah. That's the thing, is every year is actually secretly a different earlier year. I have a theory that everyone was just like, you know what? 2019 sucks. Yeah. Let's jump back 15 years well, what, and right, retry. We, we got Lion King and Aladdin in theaters. Spider-Man uh, is, yeah. is big again. Everyone's just like, everything new sucks. Let's go back to the shit that we know was yeah. fun. Nothing, was, nothing bad ever happens when we get when we wax nostalgic about the old days. When was the Gore Bush? Uh, two thousand. That was two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Because two thousand four was Bush Kerry. That was Bush. Oh, what a shit show was that was. That one was the most boring election I've ever. Yeah, I shouldn't say shit show. It was just like a. It was just oh, like nothing. Was this an election? I don't even. Yeah. What happened? Unfortunately, John Kerry does not have a lot of stage presence. He doesn't have. Yeah. Probably a good politician. I don't fucking know. I don't know anything he was about the secretary. Guy. He was a secretary of state for a while during under Obama. So he came back. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. I but think he was after. I forget if he was after or before Hillary Clinton as secretary of state. Oh no shit! I didn't know that. Yep. I don't understand. I guess these people oh. are like already like wealthy. Most of them are. Yes. So like Nearly it doesn't it doesn't matter if they're not doing anything for several years, then just come back and get a position in a. I mean, that's kind of it's it's kind of the way it works for any industry, really. Is like if you become an expert on, uh, like, I, I'm trying to even think of like any sort of, uh, if you are, if you are if you sell a lot of vacuums, mm -hmm. if you designed a really sweet vacuum, yeah. 20 years later, there's a decent chance someone could just be like, look, we're trying to work on this new vacuum design, and we just can't get the the, the torque on the wheels right. We need, yeah. we need some advice. Can you help us out? And at the same time, you've been making money off of your vacuums that you've just been selling for the past 20 yeah. years, I guess. So That must be a fucking... That must be nice. Uh... I feel like yes and no. I feel like there's an element of it, like especially uh, you're talking like political stuff, or huh? no, I mean or just the, like the lifestyle. Being like, oh, I did my big thing, and now I just make money off of it. Yeah, I guess that's true. You deal with a lot of garbage on your way up, though. Yeah. So it's sort of like you've you've paid your dues, and now you can kind of breathe a little bit. I think that's just sort of how it's kind of meant to go. Really, is like you you put up with a lot of bullshit for like twenty years. Yeah. Or you just get coast. born rich if you can or do that. that. Yeah, if you can do that, anyone out there, if you get a chance, be born rich. Yeah, just, just take it. Like that's the best way, really. Because then you just have it. You don't have to work for it at oh. all. You, you can pretend shit. like you did if you want. Like yeah. it makes you feel better. Then it's uh, like, oh, I want to learn how to do a thing. That's fine. You can. Yeah, you, you can. Just have you have all the money. time in the world. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I want to get really buff. Oh, that's cool. You got a lot of money, so yeah, it's fine. Oh, this one's hard. This one's a little bit. There we go. What 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 is on the balloons? Rupees? Ah, uh, rupees. I think yeah. <laughs> cool. And I guess the score is rupees. They're not really clear about that. It'd be cool if there was a separate rupee it's thing. Just green. Forty six. Yep. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I, I'm. 
I'm excited and intrigued to see what happens in the next 10, 15 years for, like, people who were, like, YouTube famous and shit. Like, we don't really know what ha is what happens to people after they yeah. retire from being YouTube famous. Like, that's take, only uh, I, I guess it would be, like, PewDiePie, right? Like, he was one of the first big ones. He, he was like, like oh the no. first big one. He, I mean, I mean, he's the he's the biggest, but he only really got big, uh, like big big a couple years ago. It's really been a short time. He got Who, started. He got started after we did. He I wasn't mean, even on YouTube when we got started. Like, really? Yeah, huh. he started in I think 2013. So who was who was like the first YouTuber to like make a uh, living off of YouTube? Ray, I'm gonna get his name wrong. Ray William Johnson is probably one of the big ones. I he, don't even know who that is. He had a show called Equals Three that was really that was really big. Um, did, did he actually live off of YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. It was like early I'm enough thinking, in the day where it's practically impossible to. I'm, I'm thinking like a like a PewDiePie makes a ton of money. Yeah. Like. Ninja, the the like Fortnite streamer. That's the wildest fucking story like, right now. Ninja and his whole thing between Twitch and whatever fucking website no one cares about that he bailed for. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I don't. I just know that he makes fucking tons of money. Well, he made millions just to switch from Twitch to that other platform. Like they just straight up gave him a couple million. Like I yeah, think it was like even, three million dollars. Even before that, he was making like a ton of money every fucking month. Oh yeah, it was stupid. I don't get it. He was just playing fucking Fortnite. It's was he just, even good? He must have been good at oh, he, it. Oh, like. he was very good. Don't don't get me wrong. And it, but he's also just like he's a child, so that's oh, what, shit. that's what children want to see. You know? Yeah. Oh, children want to see someone who's like sort of relatable, but like he's the best at the game. You yeah. Know? I, I guess I don't really I don't know. Like I get why he I get how someone like that gets popular. I don't understand. I still don't understand how someone like that can be a, becomes a millionaire for doing that. Like uh, yeah, I mean I don't know. You just become like a mascot for Twitch, basically. I guess. Well, not anymore. Well, I mean yeah, but he was fine well before he moved to the Microsoft platform. Yeah. whatever it's called. For uh, I don't remember. I don't I don't know. Ooh, this one's gonna be rough. Doesn't Ooh. really matter. Gonna be the first one you don't perfect. Nope, nope, it will not be the first one you don't perfect. Uh, but like, my end goal Wave for the D pad is like, my end goal for the deep. My end goal for the D pad is I would like to eventually be able to live comfortably off of money made from the D pad. Yeah, I don't expect us to become millionaires doing this shit. It'd be nice if the D pad paid the rent or something. Yeah, that that is like. Major, major milestone, like number one for me <laughs> in terms of like the D pad as a business. Obviously, stuff like ten thousand subscribers that was a really huge personal channel goal. Right, right. But like business goal, being able to have the D pad pay for where we live and not and like that's just like that's not breaking the bank. It's just like we can now live here. We don't have to worry about rent anymore. Yeah, like that would be great. Um, we're still a ways away from that. We were quite a ways away from that, <laughs> yeah. but like. But yeah, I mean, but like those are the that's goals. That's a nice that we goal have. to have. It's not like it's like around the corner. <laughs> yeah, like that's a that's a thing to shoot for. Yeah, it's a couple states over. Or, yeah, or another country. Yeah, maybe or one big county if you're in like Texas or, or one of the bigger <laughs> southern states. But the, yeah, a Texas county is just like any other state though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas is fucking huge. Texas is really goddamn big. I keep forgetting just how huge Alaska is too. Alaska yeah, is Alaska's, practically its own fucking country. But Alaska is just a lot of nothing. It's a lot of beautiful nothing. Yeah. I, Alaska. I, w I would actually love to visit Alaska sometime just to sightsee. I would love to see, like, the wilderness of Alaska. It looks... every Everything I've seen of it looks fucking gorgeous. A lot of bugs. All right. All right. I guess that makes sense. Probably a lot of bears. Yeah. Bears. Bugs. Battlestar Galactica. All the big bees. Oh, big. It's got a lot of big. Big bees, yeah. Where? Get back here, you little fucker. There you go. Whoop. But yeah, it's just sort of like... It's very mind-blowing, and at times a little bit disheartening, I guess, to like look at how trying to make a career doing youtube stuff even works, it's and how other people have succeeded and failed. Yeah. Some people fail really hard. Some people, it's mind-blowing to see how they've succeeded at it <laughs> while being either terrible at what they do or which I mean there is a certain charm to that there are people who get popular for being bad at things but doing it in an entertaining way yeah but then there's people who are just shitty people not even doing a very good job of like 
any of the stuff and they still get wild success. And it's like, how does that even happen? None of it really makes any sense. It's just a crapshoot. Sometimes, yeah, a lot of times it's just luck of the draw. Like, if you you just got to be in the right place at the right time kind of thing. And for us, a lot of times that just means, like, let's try something weird and new just to see how people respond to it. Yeah. We got very, very lucky with the Michael Jackson video. We have not struck lightning even remotely as close to that <laughs> since. The closest we've come, actually, I take that back. The closest we've come since then is the Mega Man fully charged stuff. Yeah, those are good. The sum total of those videos together has has gotten more views than our Michael Jackson video. So yeah. I, I would say that Mega Man fully charged is on is for us on the, the level the, of the Michael more Jackson. successful one of the more successful things that have been done. Yeah. It's it's technically speaking it is the most successful venture that we've really done. The problem is like none of those can be monetized. Most of them can't. There's like two or three of them. It's not enough for it to make a difference, really. But so it's like... there. I, I've got some things in mind that might be able to help us out with that. But like, honestly, I don't know. It's it's one of those ones where it's like, I knew going in that was going to be the case. Yeah. Uh, especially like the D-pad and chills in particular. It's like, there's no... I, I have absolutely no legal foot to stand on to say right, that right, we can right, monetize yeah. that. And there's no illusions about like, oh, we'll make money out of it. Yeah. It's oh, no. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. My my whole thing is just like I'm gonna do what's like interesting and fun for me. Yeah. Uh, with the the time that I'm comfortable spending doing those things. Right. And then and if it turned into something that like you know paid the rent, then it's like okay, well Sweet. then that's a that's, nice perk. Well, I was oh, like, oh fuck me. If that was if that was the case, then it'd be like okay, let's like. Maybe I can learn how to do some editing and I can spend time doing that since I don't have to worry about right. other... Th you, know, you, you know what I mean? Now, yeah, now that you have a little bit more ability to like free yourself up a bit. You yeah. go, all right, I can I can contribute back to the equation and try to like build it up a little bit more or right, like right. make it a little bit easier to become... Oh, shit, these are moving fast now. And then it'd be like, well, what if this could become not just... Not just Strictly paying the rent, but it is the our, all of our income. job. Yeah, right, right. Then it's like, okay, now I can like quit my job, and now I can do a bunch of you yeah. Know. That's kind of end game ish goal for this right. is like now we're not just paying the rent. No! Oh, got it. Not gonna get this one perfect. Mm. Oh, no. nope. Yeah, they that Flew was too close real to fucking moon. quick. Game over. Like fuck. <laughs> it can only be perfect. Perfect or nothing. That's what my dad always said. Uh, it was, it so was, it was mostly no, nothing. No, it was nerf or nothing. <laughs> I got the commercial right. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect or nothing. <laughs> um, Nerfect or nothing. Oh, no, no. That's what it was. Oh shit. Eek. Uh, oh, I was going somewhere with it, and I, and I forgot. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're just like. It's just like a weird stream of consciousness yeah. thing right now. This is interesting to think about because some people actually do like part of it too is a lot of uh, um, there's a lot of like brand deal stuff that, that YouTubers will do, which we haven't really dipped into at all, actually. Yeah, um, I'm not opposed to it so long as it's not like super contrived bullshit like. Oh man! Today on the D list, we're gonna do the top ten razors that are given that are made by Dollar Shave Club. It's like, no, don't, just no, not that ever, please. Uh, but like, I, I like I like if we did a uh, Jesus Christ, if we did like some kind of like a review of uh, I was gonna say raw dogs. Jesus Christ, what, what the hell the is fuck? the Watch Dogs? Oh, and like oh, we also had like a branding thing with with privacy dot com tied into that. Like, all right, if it if it's got a little thing in there, that's that's not bad. But regardless, I've been talking your ear off too not too too not too long too long. Uh -huh. Uh, to, to not. <coughs> Why don't we come back next time? Yeah. And we'll keep this thing going. And I'll breathe again. It'll be great. Bye. Well, excuse me, princess. Check it out. You got the that is, I think that's my favorite, my favorite dumb joke from uh, from Your Movie Sucks. Yeah. Uh, his review of, because uh, they did a three movie marathon of Neil Breen. And every time he said the title of that, the pause got longer and longer. Yeah. I am here. Now, <laughs> I love his voice. His voice is great. I don't know. <laughs> it's like annoying, but like in the right way. Yeah, he's got kind of a muppety voice. <laughs> yeah, him and Phalus need to do a fucking review together with their weird ass voices. <laughs> <laughs>